In this video, we present a robotic emergency hiatal hernia repair. The patient presented with acute incarceration of the stomach within the posterior mediastinum. After adequate decompression with the nasogastric tube, she was taken to the operating room. As one can see, there's a great deal of edema noted of the component that has herniated into the posterior mediastinum. We proceeded to take this patient to the operating room, considering that she was in a stable condition. Assessment of the herniated contents. Uh, made one aware that a complete dissection of the hernia sac is required. That's why the hernia sac was opened at the level of the crura, and we proceeded to mobilize this in a circumferential manner, starting in the middle, proceeding towards the right cruise. Once again, you can visualize the great deal of edema that's present. The four arms of the robot allows one to have the adequate traction and counter traction that's required. We proceed to see how well the stomach is able to be reduced. The assistant now grabs the hernia sac and we proceed to dissect out the hernia sac as that represents the main principle for an adequate repair of a hiatal hernia. Otherwise, the chance of recurrent incarceration is very great. We're seeing now the hernia sac, and further dissection will take place to mobilize this, including resection of portion of the hernia sac, which will be seen at a later time. We're beginning to identify the region where the vagus nerve is located anteriorly, as well as location of the esophagus, which is distorted due to the nature of having had this chronic fatal hernia. We see anesthesia trying to advance the bougie. The bushy was successfully placed into the stomach for decompression. One can see the posterior core with the lung. Dissection then continues from the left core in order to create a small window through which a pen train will be placed. In order to visualize the nose train, further dissection takes place along the hernia sac towards the left uh, crura. Once again, the goal is to visualize the left crura and eventually to get to the confluence of the left and right crus.
the panel of his own retrieve, a sutra's place we hope to keep in our possession. We can now start giving ourselves the full contraction to completely mobilize the esophagus. And you can see the large vernal sac as well as the vagus nerve. We now proceed to free up and remove the hernia sac, the goal being to adequately visualize the region of the GE junction. And attempts are made to also try to preserve the anterior vagus nerve. The hernia sac is essentially split in the middle, and we proceed to take the left sided portion, the right sided portion, once again, attempting as best as possible to preserve the vagus nerve. And we'll see that the dissection continues deep into the posterior mediastinum in order to increase the chance that the greatest amount of esophagus can be brought into the intra-abdominal cavity uh, without any undue tension. At this point, we start reapproximating our vital accrual, utilizing the zero VLOC suture in the running manner. An additional suture is placed anteriorly such that uh, we don't uh, provide any kind of abnormal kinking of the esophagus from utilizing uh, only the posterior crow closure or only the anterior crow closure. You can see there is a relatively snug closure without overdoing it to minimize the risk of dysphagia. And seeing this opening, additional sutures are going to be placed. We now proceed in retrieving the fundus in order to do a missing fundoplication. The fundus is brought around making sure that it easily comes through. That's the shoeshine maneuver, confirming that the portions of the fundus and the rest of the stomach can be reapproximated together. I'm utilizing the zero ethylbone suture. The bone divides take, is taken through the esophagus. Overall, there are going to be three interrupted sutures like this. Over this is approximately two centimeters. At this point, the pendulous is removed. Now proceed to secure the web to the posterior location where the two curl come together. Once again, we try to minimize the chance that the web will migrate into the chest. We 
can see that the missing rappers and then get the book possession. And now the question of rights or blue eyes incorporating a portion of the poor or a portion of the missing rap. Once again, to minimize the chance of us migrating back into the chest. The vessel sewer seems to provide a very good middle for the poor approach and thus minimizes the risk of an additional uh, instrument having to be used. We now perform an endoscopy while the assistant is clamping down gently on the enter region. One can see the flap that was created with the missing wrap. Thank you for your attention.